So I lied. I wanted to play a little more. I really want to save those. So... Yeah, let's have some fun. Just a little bit. It looks like some type of fuel. Apparently a large amount of power is needed to operate the main generator. Hmm. And we get more slack bullets. I'll replace them and put them up later. Oh, I didn't even check that key. Oh well. Passageway to something. It has greater attack power than the 9mm Parabellum bullet. Okay. The rest station. It is a female researcher. The white robe is smeared red with blood. Okay, we don't have the this for that yet. Can I be able to activate it with the dad on this card? Alright, then the only way to go is this way. Central stairway. Take out both of them with a little bit of bullets. That is nice. Come on. Her third has been crushed. A file of notice messages will you read then file. Since we are going to move the experimental generator outside today, we expect to see external staff within the test area. As a final reminder, if the overload occurs in this laboratory, it will mean the obl obliteration of the entire facility. If you don't want to be evaporated, guard the area with extreme caution today. The staff has been working double overtime recently. Dr. Kirk in particular has locked himself in his private quarters for nearly a week. Nobody has seen him. Take good care of the researchers and remember that the experiment's success depends upon their ability to think. Recently, the credibility gap of Dr. Kirk has been varied among the staff. Keep your eyes on the ID rewriting device here to prevent illicit use. There has been an 
instance of someone abusing the rewriting device on the first floor, keep your eyes open. The a device that can rewrite that on the ID card, yeah, for this floor. A display, a display used to monitor the people who enter this area. Dr. Kirk's name is among the list. Lock from the other side. Okay. Sure, I got quiet. That was organizing stuff. All right. Oh, and video. Yeah. Well, at least Kirk's running out of places to hide. Okay. Looks like a researcher general already, yes. The kid pointed out 
the mistake in my calculations of the estimated value the simulation of the stabilizer I mean it seems that I miscalculated the timing of the energy reaction at its critical point by six nanoseconds I admitted that I made a mistake but he has a serious attitude problem he doesn't seem to understand we're all exhausted from having to work all day and night on reg on a regular basis written by M to M everyone feels that feels the same way about Kirk as you do it's time to let him know how we feel I heard that you could create a lethal poison by mixing certain drugs together they said you just have to mix the strongest anesthetic with something else well that may be going a bit too far I suppose written by K 2K you are pathetic can't you see Dr. Kirk devotes himself to the experiment without a care of anything else blaming others for your mistakes only exemplifies your cowardice I hold all of you responsible should the experiment go wrong thanks to your blundering maybe you should be the one watching your back in case someone should accidentally inject you with poison written by question mark question mark question mark that was funny magazines on the shelf they must belong to the researchers A bed equipped with a low temperature retaining system. You can use it to refresh yourself with a brief nap. White coats for researchers, they've been worn out. A notice is supposed to be sure to make the bed after using it. Back to the room hall area. bit stronger are we and enter we go stabilizer design room. Plenty of this was required to operate this device. All right. A file block of notice messages. Will you read it? Those who attend the activation of the generator for the first time in tonight's experiment should remember the following procedures. To activate the generator, the following two devices have to be set in advance. Initializer and stabilizer. The functions of the two devices are as follows. Initializer generate the necessary energy for the first reaction when reactivating the generator. Stabilizer the third energy reaction takes in the air and generates the energy in a chain. <laughs> oh. Energy in a chain reaction just keeps the reaction under a certain level. You will find the modules models of the two pairs parts in the case set at the center if you have not 
seeing them, be sure to check and see what they look like. If you split the numbers that you use when obtaining the core parts and add zero to the each to the each of the split numbers, okay. And they will give you they will give the pass numbers you'll need when obtaining the other two protective parts. Be careful when handling the pass numbers of the core parts. The plane disc is required. Oh, of course. These two devices seem to be the just models. They cannot be used. Some kind of simulation is in progress on the big monitor. about the W's so let's go use those real quick and I think I'll end the episode there I don't know if they're here or not but I can make a uh, hard save here I think these are the S ones though no, because I don't have them. All right. Not worth it. I mean, an intensifier is good, but not that good. I mean, I've got plenty of them stored up in case I need them. not the slightest clue. Be right back. Actually, my time's up, so I'll see you on the next one. Later. <laughs>